Yo, 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 this is Rob Knox. This is the trendingreport.com. I'll be back. Why you still got your dress on? This is Douglas with TheTrainingReport.com. I'm sitting here with the, one of the wise producer, Rob Knox. Welcome to Chicago. Thank you for sitting with us thank today. You, thank you, thank you. Absolutely. I guess I'll open up with my first question in regards to the wise. Can you tell us a little bit about your production crew and, and kind of what you Yeah, um, well I met, uh, it's, it's three of us. It's me, Justin Timberlake, James Palmer, which is an incredible songwriter. Mm -hmm. um, I met James when we were signed to a production company like years back. And uh, we just kind of hit it off creatively, you know. Um, he, he's kind of like the the oddball writer, but I'm the oddball producer. So it kind of it kind of worked. And uh, we clicked up, and then I eventually clicked up with Justin. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> First record we ever did together that we produced together was Dead and Gone. And then from there, you know, I was like literally day one we did Dead and Gone, and after that we did a bunch of other stuff. And then James kind of got thrown in the mix with him writing, so we just all kind of. Like, you know, we would be the wise. Because me and James were the wise already. Got it. And then we met Justin and added them to the mix. Which was a pretty cool addition. Hey, absolutely. <laughs> I'll say, I'll say. How'd you guys meet? Me and Justin? Yeah. Uh, my manager is his tour manager. But he's like his right hand man. He does everything for him. Got yeah. Andre. Got it. He put it together. Yeah, so he was like, yo, man, why don't you, uh, he was like, why don't you and Rob, you know? Because he had to go into the studio with T.I. Mm -hmm. You know, you had to deal with him where, because T.I. did the My Love record, the verse on My Love, so Justin kind of like owed him a, a hook. Right, right, right. So uh, he was like, yo, why don't you and Rob go and produce it? And he was like, all right. That's excellent. And that was it. <laughs> well, that says a lot about your work because I'm sure that, you know, when you're in that position, you work with a lot of different producers and you hear a lot of different sounds. Mm -hmm. um, and to add, a new one and actually join the group mm -hmm. means that the work you're putting out we know it's quality but yeah, it's, 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 it's not bad <laughs> can you name some of the artists that you work with you touched on ti a little bit and just, T, uh, yeah the ti record mm -hmm. um we did the jamie fox winner record we did sierra love sex magic worked with rihanna i worked with britney chris brown lil wayne joe jonas um justin's new album of course mm -hmm. um Few others I'm drawing blank though. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah. Quite the resume though. Not bad. Yeah, good deal. Um, of all the people that you've worked with, who would you say is uh, was your favorite person to work with? I mean, does Justin count? No. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's a beast. But mm -hmm. uh, T.I. was a lot of fun, man. He's a good dude. You know, he's pretty funny. Um, Joe Jonas was a lot of fun, actually. He's a good kid and he's pretty talented. Like, he's you know, pretty creative on the pen. Really good writer. Mm -hmm. No such one, just like a lot of fun. You know, so he's probably one of my favorites. Well. A lot of artists, you know, a lot of producers, they have a zone that they get into, mm -hmm. or like a, I don't know, a comforting place mm -hmm. where they're able to create. Mm -hmm. What's that place like for you? First time you be fed. <laughs> uh, I'll be comfortable. Uh, you know, a, a lot of creative people have that weird zen thing. They, they mean, I'm not really one of those cats like that. I might be smoking a hookah while I'm working. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but other than that, like I, I don't really have, you know, I just need loud speakers mm -hmm. in a semi-dark room. That's pretty much it. Yeah. I don't really have no weird white pigeons floating around. <laughs> <in there. laughs> Anything like mean. that. Right, right. So put you in a place to work and yeah, let it roll. Exactly. Good deal. And then uh, a question I always love to ask: If you weren't producing music right now, if you weren't in this profession, what, what, what would you want to do? Um, I, mean, I was always in football, so I played my whole life. I played in college. Um, something with football, probably. Nice. You know, either coaching, hopefully still playing. If not, probably coaching, man. I love kids, I love football. Mm -hmm. So, either way, you're doing something you love. Mm -hmm. it That's all I care about. I'm Douglas. This is Rob Knox. This is the Training Reporter. Thank you for sitting with us, boss. Thank you. Appreciate it. Shot down. Shot down.